Kelly and I made it to Brown's Campground on the Owens River. There's the river and some cows behind us. I am a 71-year-old woman who loves to camp and travel. Most of the time, I take my little schnauzer sneakers with me. I belong to four lady camp groups, and one I started in my area. One of the reasons we bought the Mini Winnie was so I could go more on my own or with my lady camper groups. My channel, Crafty Traveler, isn't only about crafting, it's about being crafty smart. When traveling, camping, quilting, and doing crafts. We're traveling south on 395 and we're going to be turning east at the Benton Crossing, Whitmore Springs, right by the Little Green Church. And in five miles, we will cross the Owens River and the Owens Browns Campground is just around that corner. Keep watching. As I drove closer, I saw the little rain squall happening, and of course, by the time we got to the campground, it was raining heavily. Here is the entrance to Brown's Owens River Campground, and you can drive in go to the office to check in. Ernie and I were here in August of 2020 and I did a pretty detailed video on the campground so I will post it above. Here is the office and store where we go to check in. After filling my RV with water, we headed on into our site, real close to the river. Pulling in right on the grass, and I wanted to face the river and the mountains with my RV. Here we are, parked in our sites next to each other. Each site has picnic tables and a fire pit. There's the beautiful river and mountains. And we're having a little campfire, our first campfire. rain on our way in and when I had to put water in my RV I had to stand out in the rain luckily I have a rain poncho. We stopped at Mono Lake uh, Visitor Center and the tofu and drove out to see the tofu. If you haven't seen that video I will post the link above. That guy's catching fish over there. He's about his third one. Kelly just saw on the fence that it's uh, artificial bait only. This has changed since August of 2020. Now, as of August 1st, you can only use artificial lures and flies. No bait. So, that's fine. I have my fly rod with jigs and flies and other things. Here's the view out my door this morning. Still cloudy. But there are signs of blue. And there's the river. The cows have gone over to the other side. And there's a big peak. I'm not sure the name of that. No snow. No glaciers. I've never seen it so barren without 
white snow. Still beautiful. That's the direction we're going. That way to Mammoth. They do have pit toilets and garbage cans and water spigots, but no real hookups. I filled my RV with a spigot by that office. The closest dump station is by Convict Lake, up the road about 15 minutes. There's the bathhouse, restaurants, and laundry. We have to pick up shower key at the store, right outside the door. And the store closes, but the showers are open pretty much all night. And here's the shower. There's a window there shower. I've taken this shower before. I've done these showers before and they're all very clean. There's a bench to put your belongings on and to sit on and then there are a couple of hooks to put hang your clothes. Here's the restroom. I had to come in and comb my hair because there's no mirror in the shower. They have three stalls. One of them is a handicapped stall. Very clean. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. And stay crafty, smart, creative, and safe. Bye now. Stay tuned for the next video when we go on a tour of Mammoth Lakes. Thanks for watching all the way through.